I'm talking about false uh, evidence appearing real. What is that? What is that false evidence that appears real? It's fear. So uh, is there anyone who's never feared of any anything? Is there anyone I would really like to see them and appreciate them if there if there is one person like that? But I'm sure we are we have all passed through one of those phases. Uh, and when we pass through such a phase, the first thing that comes to our mind is a friend or a relative or anybody who's next to you. They say, "Don't worry, it's just in your imagination. You know, it's it'll just go on." For that moment, we feel that is the relief, that is the solution. But after that, you know, 15, 20 minutes or after a day or a couple of hours, we will actually think for a solution. So I'm talking from this book, one of the very important books of the syllabus, Magic of Thinking Big. So here um, I, I'm talking about the concept of fear. Uh, like I said, we've all passed through this space and uh, this fear is actually a psychological thing. You know, it could be a worry or some tension or something that uh, leads us to an embarrassment because uh, of a negative management of our imagination. Okay, so it could be of any form, any kind, any size, but it is a mental infection. We are hearing a lot about infection outside as a physical infection, but this is a mental infection, which is even more dangerous because someday in future, when we uh, say, for example, take our mind as a bank. And what do you do in a bank? Uh, when you go and invest money, uh, you we all think about big monies, right? Maybe a lakh, 100,000, 2 lakhs, 200,000, anything like that. Or do we invest? think of investing 1 rupee, 2 rupees? No, right? So let's consider this 1 rupee, 2 rupee as our small mentality. It could be a negative thought or it could be, uh, uh, you know, uh, something that is that we are in enable of or, or our failures. And these big monies as our positive things. So if someday when tomorrow when I when we face a situation, uh, if we keep investing uh, negative in this mind bank, uh, saying in, a, in it's your enable or you're something somebody who cannot solve this problem, then when the situation comes, the mind says, recall, did you re do you recall the other day you were called a failure? You were called someone who was unable to do something or you are not capable of doing it. And this is what mind will react like. Or you say, Mr. Banker, I want a solution for this situation and I'm not, I'm not able to find it. How can I get there? Instead of coming to a conclusion, if we tell our mind this, this particular phase, our mind will say, hey, remember the other day, you were able to solve a similar problem like this. I think you can do it and it will lead us to the solutions. So to be, uh, to come out of that fear, the first thing that we need is to act. Action cures fear. So the first thing that you need to do, I mean, the solution for action, actioning is, first thing is isolate your fear. Like what COVID is happening, people are isolated. So fear, isolate your fear now and then pin it down and determine what exactly you're afraid of. So for example, um, in my case, uh, I'm scared of water, but it doesn't mean that I can't go into water, but because you know, I, I feel like I'm going to get drowned. Uh, you know, I, I can't breathe and I can't uh, stay in the water. Uh, that's aquaphobia. I thought it was hydrophobia all this while, but it's aquaphobia. And uh, surprisingly, when I was preparing for this topic, I saw that even Vicky Kaushal is, you know, um, scared of uh, drowning. So he has a feeling that the moment he gets into water, he drowns. It couldn't, it's not like a pool or something, but it's something large. So that is still a fear. The first step is when I know, uh, you know, uh, that's my fear. This was there even, even before I read this book, it was there in my mind. And can you believe I have gone scuba diving? We've gone together scuba diving. My first confidence was he was there along, you know, when something happens, he will still be there. But the, but I took the step. So I determined what my fear exactly was. And I tried to figure out the solution. So then we need to take action. So that's the second step. So uh, like I said, if our mind is a bank, right? So if I kept telling that, no, no, you go into the water, you'll die. Then I would have never stepped into water. I have done snorkeling. I've done scuba diving. It's, it's a fear that I have come up, uh, come out of, right? So uh, this, the whole thing, you know, uh, that we need to do is it determine a fear and take action. So deposit positive things in our mind and never allow a negative thought to go inside. Even if it goes inside, we, I think we, it's better to be more positive and wipe away that one. Uh, even fact, the biggest fear currently is COVID. So we all get scared while stepping out. So in case if you really want to step out, then we have all 
possible uh, answers with us. Wear your mask, maintain social distancing. We all know that. Take your vitamins, supplements, whatever that is required for your body, vitamin C. That you know, we all know that it's immune. It's it's very uh, you know good for our immunity. So we can fight the virus. So we know when we know the fear. Let's figure out what is keeping us um, away. I mean, stopping us to execute and get the results. And you know, we all definitely can pass on this fear. Now we know what is what fear is and the, what the solution is. After we come out of the fear, what is next? I need to be confident of facing it, right? So confidence. Maybe I will talk next week because uh, until then, keep analyzing what could be possible to be confident to fight our fears and come out. So that's what I wanted to share. Amazing. Thank you so much, Sahana, for sharing your talk and experience. It really added a lot of value. Definitely, people must have related it. Uh, aquaphobia. In fact, even I was not aware of it. That hydrophobia and aquaphobia are two different things. So, thank you for uh, sharing that as well. Great.